Hey, I'm Alistair, Chief Dreamer at Flinder. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to leverage the API of Xero. Let me just dive in here to Xero developer document. So you can reach it, first of all, by typing in developer.xero.com, or you can just Google Xero API documentation. So developing an integration to Xero can create huge efficiencies. However, not all transactions necessarily need to be pushed through to your finance system. So I'd recommend speaking to an accountant uh, to get the best, for the best way in which to get transactions into your finance system and what the flow should be. The Xero API is pretty good uh, and enables us to get, put, post, and delete um, transactions with Xero. So here you can see the developer page. Um, it's got a getting started guide here, which is useful to set up a Xero account, explore the API, previewer, uh, a how-to guide on integrating your application and other useful guides. Uh, the, auth, the auth and limits uh, guide here um, is useful to establish the best way to connect to the API. Uh, Xero uses OAuth 2.0 to authenticate your app uh, and what volumes you can pass through. So here, if I scroll down a little bit more, we've got different APIs here. Um, the one, the catalog that you'd be most interested in, I would have thought would be accounting. So if we just click on here and go into it, you can see on the left-hand side here, we have a number of different areas of the accounting API that you can connect to. So we've got one here, for example, invoices, which is probably one that you'd be looking into if you're looking to put transactions into zero from your own system. You can see it's got get, put, post functionality here um, within uh, the zero API for invoices. You can see here, is the, uh, the URL endpoint. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit here, you can see some of the endpoints, you can see some of the, um, the variables that you can change for the API um, as we scroll down here. And actually on the right-hand side here, you can see what it returns uh, in uh, XML format here. So um, it gives you a little bit of help as to what that uh, node and array structure looks like. I hope you found this short video useful. Uh, you can reach out to us on Twitter, LinkedIn, or via our website and be sure to check out some of the other hints and tips in our 10 common mistakes startups make when using Xero eBook.